Hey y'all, in today's video we're gonna do a quick tutorial on how to do fake tilt shift photography and why you should do it sometimes. So, let's go. So if you've ever done any sort of architectural or real estate photography for any length of time, you've probably come to find out that one of the main concerns is your vertical lines. And in order to maintain your vertical lines, your camera needs to be pointed straight at your subject and not tilted up or down. Uh, pointing your camera up or down is gonna result in inaccurate vertical perspectives, and this is widely considered to look unpleasing. So who cares, right? Just point your camera straight and you're totally done. And that's true, but I wanna give you an example of a better shot that you could be missing out on by not using a tilt shift lens, or, or in this case, you know, faking a tilt shift lens. So let's jump on into Photoshop and we'll take a look. So here's a shot where I was inside the kitchen and it was my goal to show the entire space, including beyond the kitchen. The problem with this shot is that I can't see what's behind this island. So the obvious thing to do here is just raise the tripod. But when I do that, I am actually able to see now the dining room table and I get a better view of everything. The problem though is that now I, have, I lose some of my floor space and I just have a ton of ceiling space here. And to be honest, it sort of just looks like the ceiling is overwhelming this shot. So this is where having a tilt shift can solve this problem. Or in our case, actually, you know, faking a tilt shift. So all I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna keep the same camera height and I'm just gonna point the camera down, just like I did with this next shot. And what that did is it does away with a lot of that ceiling and added more floor space in this shot, which I think is, a more pleasing composition, but now we have the issue where our verticals are off. This is something that we can easily fix in Photoshop with perspective correction. So let's head on into Photoshop and take a look. So all we wanna do is just hit Command or Control T, which is our free transform tool. And we're gonna hit the perspective correction. And what I'll also like to do is drag out some guidelines over here. And in order to do that, what you wanna do is make sure you can see your ruler. So if you don't see that, you're gonna to wanna to click on view and then click on rulers. And once you have that, you can click and drag anywhere from within the ruler and drag out a guideline. And when I right click and hit on perspective, I can then just click and drag this straight out until it lines up with this guideline. And that looks just about right. And let's go ahead and save this out. And we can do a quick A-B comparison to see what it looks like with and without the tilt shift. So th this is without tilt shift, and this is with tilt shift. So you can see the difference. You're still able to see everything in the background here, the dining room table, anything like that. You're just getting less ceiling space and more floor space. Again, which I think really is gonna make for a better composition. So this is without and this is with. So let's take a look at one more example, and this is of the same place, but just a different angle. This one is probably not quite as dramatic an issue as the last one, but in looking at it, some things that stand out to me are that the island and kitchen counter space are a little bit lost in the frame, and we also lose the floor space in this area. So when we raise the camera up, we really open up the shot, and we can see more of the kitchen counter, more of the island, and more of the floor space. But again, the same problem that we have just a ton of ceiling and we lost some of the floor space in the foreground. So once again, I tilted my camera down and that still gives me the same overall look except that my verticals are now incorrect. So we're just gonna head on to Photoshop again and Command or Control T for our tree, free transform tool. And then we're gonna right click and click on perspective. And we're gonna drag out a guideline. Something else that you want to keep in mind when you shoot this way is that you are going to lose some space on the left and on the right side. So when you're framing up your shot, you want to make sure that you frame it wide enough so that you don't cut off something that's critical in your opinion to the shot. So like as an example, this window, I don't, I would hate to have to crop it in and it now end up being that I cut off some of that window. So I tried to frame it up wide enough so that when I correct the perspective, the window frame is still on the shot. So let's go ahead and drag it out until it looks straight. And 
we're about right there. I got it pretty close on that one. I was almost gonna end up cutting it off, but I still managed to keep it in there. So let's hit enter and then we'll go ahead and save it out. And then again, we'll just A, B the shot. So this is with the camera raised up, pointed straight. And when we pointed the camera down and fixed the perspective in post, this is what we end up with. A ton more floor space, not so much ceiling, but we still are able to see everything off in the distance. And I think this is a much more pleasing composition. So that's all there is to it. And if you found this video helpful, please hit that like and subscribe button and comment for the algorithm. And if you'd like to see more Photoshop tutorials, be sure to click on one of these videos here. Thanks and I'll see you in the next one.